everyone, let's start our lesson by looking at these pictures. Okay, as you can see, it looks like the owner is not organizing his or her things. And compared to other pictures here, that the items are arranged and organized properly. Now, what are the advantages of being organized? Well, if your things are arranged, you can easily find the items you are looking for. It can save you time and it can also reduce stress you experience by putting less effort in cleaning and decluttering them. In math, we also have combining like terms and that's what we are going to talk about. To simplify algebraic expressions by combining like terms. Example, so if I have here three apples added by two apples, you can put three apples here and I have two apples here. So if I'm going to get the total one, two, three, four, five, I have five apples. Now let's write an expression and use a letter to represent the apples. I can write here 3a and plus 2a. And then I have, if I'm going to visualize that or write the a's, we have three a's here and then added to another two a's. Then when I get it, I get 5a. Or simply, I just add these two numbers here, which is 3 and 2, which is 5, then copy the variable. But let's say we are to add another fruit, which is orange. So I have here two oranges plus three apples plus two apples plus another four oranges. You can visualize that as two oranges added by three apples and another two apples and another four oranges. To get the total, we need to get the total number of oranges and the total number of, of apples. But we cannot combine the two since they are different kinds of fruit. So if we, we have, we added the oranges, we have six oranges plus the five apples. Similarly, if I have another algebraic expression here, we have um, for the orange, I represent this O, then for the apple, it's still A. So I can write here two uh, uh, O. 2 O's and then 5 A since we have 3 A and then added to 2 A and another uh, 4 O's. Now I can only combine um, O's and I can combine only the A's. So I have here 5 A plus 6 O or simply add the numbers which are called coefficient then copy the variable. So I only add here 2 and 4 since they are the same, which is O. So we have 6O and then we have 3A plus 2A, then it's 5A. In an expression, only like terms can be combined. We combine like terms to simplify algebraic expressions so we can work with them more easily. We can't combine unlike terms because it is like trying to add apples and oranges. So let's define like terms. Like terms are terms that have the same variable raised to the same power. So for example, we have here 5x and 3x. And unlike terms are terms that doesn't have the same variable. So we have here, for example, 5x. 3y and 2x squared. So we cannot combine these ter terms since they have different variables. In combining like terms, we just simply add or subtract the numerical coefficients and copy the variable. Again, unlike terms cannot be combined. Let's have more examples. Okay, combine like terms. So we have 10m minus 6m, so they have the same variable, so we can subtract 10 minus 6, we have 4m, so that's our answer. Another example, we have 3m plus 2n minus m, so we can combine this 3m minus m, then plus 2n. So what we're going to do is to uh, rearrange the expression so we have 3m minus m and then plus 2n 
Now the m here has a coefficient of 1. We just simply write the variable and not putting the 1 since any value multiplied by 1 is always equal to the number itself. So when we subtract 3 minus 1, that is 2. So we have 2m, then copy this 2n. So 2m plus 2n. Next, we have 7y minus 6z plus z. So we can combine this z's and uh, we cannot combine this y. So when we combine this negative 6 plus 1, that's how we write it, since the sign of 6, this is subtraction. So we include this as negative 6 plus the coefficient of z, which is 1. Then adding unlike sign, we subtract and then copy the sign of the greater absolute value. So we have negative 6 plus 1 is negative 5. So our answer is 7y minus, since this is negative, so minus 5, then copy the variable which is z. So 7y minus 5z is the answer. Next, we have 2a plus 3a minus 20 plus 5. So we can combine this 2a and 3a, then we can also combine this uh, negative 20 plus 5. So before that, let's solve this negative 20 plus 5. So again, since this is subtraction, this is also the sign of 20, which is negative, plus 5 this is positive. So when we add unlike sign, you subtract, then copy the sign of the greater absolute value, which is negative 15. And we simply add 2 plus 3, we have 5. Then um, the answer here is 15, and that is minus, since this is negative 15. Next, we have 20 minus x plus 5 plus 2x. So let's rearrange the expression and combine the same terms. We have 20 plus 5, then minus x plus 2x. So this minus x plus 2x, we can write it as negative 1 plus 2. And to find negative 1 plus 2, you just simply subtract, then copy the sign of the greater absolute value, which is the answer is positive 1. Then we can simply add this 20 plus 5, which is a constant, that is 25. Then since it's 1, which is positive, we can just simply write x. So the answer is 25 plus x. Next, we have 5x plus 3x minus 5y divided by 5z minus 3z. So we combine this x, we combine this z. So 5x plus 3x, that is 8x minus 5y, then combine 5z minus 3z, it's 2z. So the answer is 8x minus 5y divided by 2z or over 2z. Next, we have 5, open parenthesis, x plus 5, then close parenthesis. Now, following the order of operations, we need to simplify what's inside the parenthesis first. But since we cannot combine x plus 5, we can simply distribute the 5 to each term inside the parenthesis, or what we call as distributive property of multiplication over addition. It lets you multiply a sum by multiplying each addend separately and then add the products. So we can distribute this 5 and then multiply it to x. So we have 5x plus 5 times 5. So you will get 5x plus 25. It is st still the same when we combine this and then multiply it to 5. But again, we cannot combine this since they are unlike terms. Next, we have negative 3 times the difference between y and 10. So again, we need to combine or we need to perform first inside the parenthesis. So we need to subtract first, then we multiply it to negative 3. But since they are unlike sign, we cannot combine them. So what we're going to do is we can multiply each term inside the parenthesis, then subtract. So we have negative 3. This is negative 3 
times y, we have negative 3y. Then, this negative 3, multiply it with negative 10. So, negative times negative becomes positive. So, our answer here is negative 3y plus 30. So, why is it plus 30? Since, again, we multiply negative 3 times negative 10. Negative times negative becomes positive. Then, 10. 3 times 10 is 30. So, our answer is negative 3y plus 30. Okay, so why do we need to combine like terms now? And how do we apply that in real life? Now, again, it is necessary to combine same items or things together so that we can deal with shorter list of items. Like if you are buying food for takeout and you ask your family members their orders too, it would be easy if you summarize their orders like how many drinks, fries, burgers in total. So that's about it. I hope that you learned something from our lesson about combining like terms.